Need to marshal JavaScript objects between your Node.js application and Redis? IO Redis has you covered with argument and reply transformers. Let's learn how. IO Redis is a community recommended Redis client for Node.js. In a previous video, I showed you how to get up and running with IO Redis. You'll find a link to that in the description below. In this video, I'll introduce argument and reply transformers, two differentiating features of IO Redis that simplify mapping between JavaScript objects and Redis data types. Imagine I'm building an IoT application that receives data from connected temperature sensors scattered around a building. Each sensor has a unique ID and reports temperature and humidity periodically over a mesh network. These messages are routed to a server which stores them for further processing. I'm writing the server-side Node.js application that receives each sensor message as a JavaScript object. Each of these objects contains key-value pairs describing the unique ID of the sensor that created the message, the temperature in Fahrenheit, and the relative humidity. I need to write code that stores these objects as entries in a Redis stream for later processing. The Redis command xAd adds a new entry to a stream, assigning it a unique timestamp ID. Each entry consists of a set of field name value pairs. Here, I'm using the Redis CLI to add an entry to a stream whose key is temp humidity. The reading is from the sensor whose ID is 1AFC, which is reporting a temperature of 71.2 degrees Fahrenheit and a relative humidity of 45.3%. The asterisk tells Redis to assign this entry a timestamp ID on the server. Redis will return that ID as a string. Now I'll perform the same operation in a Node.js application using IO Redis. IO Redis exposes a function named after each Redis command, so I'm using the xAd function to add a message object to a stream. I call xAd, passing it a key name, the asterisk that tells Redis to allocate a timestamp ID for the new entry, and the JavaScript object containing the data. When I run this code, it returns an error. Redis tells me I'm sending the wrong number of arguments for the xAd command. It appears I can't simply pass my object to xAd. In common with many other Redis commands, xAd expects a variable number of string arguments. Many Redis clients, including IO Redis, implement a thin layer over the underlying Redis protocol. This means that to call xAd correctly, I need to unpack our object to look something like this. Passing each field name and value pair as separate strings works, but I need to write extra code to convert objects to this format whenever I call xAd. This isn't ideal. Argument transformers are a feature of IO Redis that can help here. I provide a custom function to receive and transform arguments passed to an IO Redis function that implements a Redis command. I can then write logic that converts the supplied arguments to the form that the Redis command expects. Here I'm registering an argument transformer for the xAd command. I want to change xAd's signature to take these three arguments, a Redis key, the ID for the new stream entry, asterisk in our case, an object containing the field name value pairs that will form the body of the stream entry. So first, I make sure I have three arguments, then push the first two into an array. These are the key name and the ID for the new stream entry. The third argument is an object containing my data. I loop over the keys here, pushing the key name, then its corresponding value into my args array. Finally, I return the args array. Registering my argument transformer function means that I can now call xAd like this supplying an object as the third parameter. IO Redis calls my function whenever xAd is invoked, and it unpacks the supplied arguments into the format that Redis expects. When I run the code, we see that it works as expected, returning the timestamp ID of my newly added stream entry. Argument transformers provide a way to implement custom marshalling code without having to explicitly call it when using Redis commands. XAD with the new signature is invoked in the same way as the original was, without having to wrap arguments in a function call to reformat them. Let's move on from data ingestion to take a look at how my application retrieves entries from the temp humidity Redis stream. The Redis stream's X range command retrieves entries from a stream for a specified time range. 
Here I'm supplying start and end millisecond timestamps and Redis responds with the IDs and field name value pairs for each stream entry created in that time window. My code that calls XRange using IO Redis looks like this. And when I run it, I get an array response containing further arrays for each entry in the stream and each entry's field name value pairs. This representation isn't that useful and I'd really like to receive an array of objects instead. IO Redis reply transformer functions can help with this. A reply transformer is a function run after a Redis command completes and before the reply is returned to the Node.js script. This gives me the opportunity to reformat that reply to better fit my needs. Here, I'm registering a reply transformer function for the xrange command. Result represents the array structure that xrange normally returns. I loop over the original result array, creating a new object for each stream entry returned. First, I get the stream ID, then use a second loop to transform the array containing each field name and value into a key name and value for my object. Once done, I push the new object into a fresh array and repeat this process for each stream entry. The code that calls xrange doesn't need to change as IO Redis handles calling the reply transformer function for us. Running the updated code shows that I now get a much more usable response a single array containing an object representing each entry read from the stream. If you're interested in the code used in this video, check out our GitHub repo. You can find the link in the description for this video. To learn more about building Node.js applications with Redis, sign up for our course, Redis for JavaScript Developers. And if you want to take a deeper dive into streaming data with Redis, check out our other course, Redis Streams. Both are part of Redis University, a free online learning platform for all things Redis. Thanks for joining me for this overview of IO Redis transformer functions. We release videos on this channel regularly, so be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and be the first to know about new Redis tips, tricks, and features. Happy coding, see you next time.